good morning, YouTubers. Update on the John Irish case where New Hampshire CPS and local law enforcement stormed in, did a kangaroo court, and took these people's baby away from them. Evidently, yesterday or the day before, I'm not sure, they had a visit with their child. Well, the baby's that age, and then, you know, they sleep a lot, but they felt that the baby was unresponsive. Um, probably not, you know, I've had infants, and you, and you just want to wake them up and just play with them. You know, you're like, wake up, wake up, you know, but all they want to do is sleep. Well, they became concerned with it, and, um, well, maybe if I change her diaper, you know, that'll stimulate her and wake her up. Well, she just freaked, woke up and freaked out. They opened her diaper, and this, this poor little angel had blood all over her vagina, okay? When babies are born, they, baby girls, they have a little bit of blood sometimes that comes out. I had two baby girls. A little bit of blood. This little baby girl had blood all over her vagina, enough so that the doctor wanted the baby taken to a sexual assault forensic specialist. Hello, now the baby, now the sheriff's office took custody away from CPS. Wake the fuck up, New Hampshire. The only fucking place this baby is truly going to be safe is in the arms of her mother. Okay? Do you fucking understand? Now, you've taken CPS, New Hampshire CPS took this child from these people based on the fact that the local sheriff doesn't fucking like John Irish. Are you fucking serious? Because he likes the Oath Keepers. Are you fucking serious? And now this baby has been subjected to... Sexual molestation from a caring foster parent? Bullshit. Give the baby back. For fuck sakes. Insanity. This is bullshit. People. I, I'm calling the New Hampshire State Attorney General's office. This shit has to come to a fucking end. Okay? Pure, pure violation of John's civil rights the mother of his child's civil rights, and the child's civil rights. The hell. Everybody involved should lose their job. And John Irish, I have to say to you, son, oh my God, you have the patience of a saint because I would have fucking killed everybody involved by now. Especially the motherfuckers that had my baby. Especially them. What, you know, I grew up with a, a girl that was in a foster home and her foster dad did things to her that a foster dad should not do to a little girl. I told, and guess what? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And this girl had to continue growing up in that fucking house. They deemed her a juvenile delinquent because she was running away all the time. Duh, what do you think? Your dad's trying, your foster dad's trying to hump you. What are you going to do? Stay there? Oh, yeah, just hump me all you want to. Wake up, people. CPS isn't the best judge of character. Shit has to change. I think law enforcement should investigate, period. And if it's a thumbs up, come right in, CPS. Do your job. But if they're a thumbs down, they don't, there's nothing to substantiate, nothing, then back the fuck up. But if you have these people that have the the uh, Adoption and Safe Families Act in their pocket, making them goddamn money. Clinton, what the fuck were you thinking? What the fuck were you thinking when you thought that was a good idea? All that did was open the door for corruption, the corruption we see today. Okay? That baby girl is beautiful. Oh, hell yeah, they want to get their hands on it because they want to stuff money in their pocket. Everybody out there that's watching, contact the New Hampshire State Attorney General's office. File complaints. Call your congressman. Tell them to repeal that ridiculous rule because all that did was open the door for mass corruption in the CPS world. Oh yeah, we'll take these kids and we'll adopt them out and we'll get all this money. But you notice all the tweaker kids and all the mixed kids, they don't care. They don't care because they're in it for the money. Oh, we get bonuses. We get this. We get that. If you adopt out an ADHD kid, you get 4800 bucks. What the hell? 
But just a normal kid that ain't got nothing wrong with them is only worth $3,500. Some states, it's even higher. In Georgia, they were getting $6,000 bonuses. Because I, I watched Nancy Schaefer. She investigated this. She was investigating this. She died because of this corruption, people. Wake up. Wake up up and realize what's going on around you because this is total bullshit someone needs to step in and help those people because this is bullshit sheriff's office has no business having them cps had no business having that baby the only place that child belongs is in the arms of her mother period wake up that's all i have to complain about today for now i just thought i'd give you all an update on that but that's all I've been up to other than my activism and stuff like that. But I just thought I'd update you guys on that. It's disgusting. I'm glad that baby girl is too little to remember what has been done to her. Because, oh my God. But her parents having to live with the fact that somebody touched their infant's vagina? Are you kidding me? Disgusting. Very disgusting. And to the pervert that did it. I hope your fucking nuts turn black and fall off, okay? That's all I have to rant about today, folks. And again, I am the shit that pisses you off, lady. And remember, trust no one.